that eruption who looked the most potent machine to be immobilized anyway. Terra Turtle can't get its weaponry up to it. Low ground clearance with the undercutter blade. And Apollo dancing around. The famous blue coats, dancers and prancers. I'm Michael from Warrington and Cheshire. My robot is Eruption. I might only be 17 years old, but I've been doing this for over 10 years, and if anyone underestimates me, then they're going to be in for a shock. My role in the team is driver and designer of the robot, and my dad is head robot builder. We work quite well as a team most of the time. We have our disagreements, but when we get on and do it together, we normally get some great results. So who's in charge of Team Eruption? That's probably me. So with both our father and son teams, aren't you, that we have so much up? Yeah. yeah. And you've been doing this for how long? Uh, we've been doing this since 2004, when I was just six years old. So uh, what can Eruption do? Well, it's got a very powerful flipper. Right. But we've also added this grabber. The robot comes up, the, the grabber will fire, hold the other robot, we've got hold of it then, so we can put it where we want to throw it out. Cheshire Eruption. Team captain Michael Oates has been driving robots since he was six. He's one of the youngest team captains in the competition. They say he's one of the best drivers too because they've won many amateur UK championships. Eruption. Stand by. Here we go, eruption explosive saber to the real tiger, storm two, whirlwind force, terror turtle. Hmm, we'll wait and see. Yellow shaped saber tooth on the attack, then backing away, but of course we know they can't self right. That'll come into play. Terror turtle being nudged early on. There's an attack from uh, eruption who looked the most potent machine here and flipping saber tooth immediately. Saber tooth 106 kilos just flipped through the air. Storm two with those four flippers getting in underneath terror turtle. Don't forget, Terra Turtle made of fiberglass on a wooden frame underneath that. They think that will help. Whoa! Cushion the blows. But there, the blows are for Sabretooth. Turned on its top and it can't self right. The little Terra Turtle hatchling is in play. Meanwhile, they chase there after the senior turtle which has been turned turtle. Get them, get them, get them out. The little one is in trouble. They want it out of the arena. Seems uh, to be immobilized no. anyway. Terra Turtle can't get its weaponry up to any sort of spinning. Very impressed here with Eruption and that powerful flipper. They say it's the most powerful in the country. Out of the mark arena. Up, mark up, mark up. Out go Terra Turtle. <laughs> what a lift. No. Really good job, Really good job, mate. Look at this. That is 86 kilos being nudged to the side. That is a powerful flip from eruption. We've already seen the power then, but way out of the arena. That is the biggest blow we've seen struck so far. We're going to visit the winner's enclosure. These two teams, Eruption and Storm 2. Congratulations to both Thank of you. you. I think. Thank you. We will all remember the moment where you picked up a turtle and flung him over a wall. Yeah, that was a highlight. <laughs> that was quite beautiful, actually. Yeah. yeah. Our aim is always to throw them out of the arena, so we're really happy that we got to do that. That's always the prize moment. I could talk to you for longer, but you basically ran around a lot and let them do most of the damage. That's what I'm, I'm really <laughs> going to say. We, we, we chased the turtles. Oh, did you, did you, you soften busy, up the turtles? We, oh, turtle. we roasted the big turtle. For yeah. Yeah. You roasted the big for, for a little while. Yeah, yeah. You set fire to an inflammable thing. You both go through. Congratulations to Eruption and Storm through. We'll see you in the head to heads. Thank you. From the winner's enclosure to the runners up. <laughs> very close, very close. What happened? It just didn't, you didn't get off the mark at all. Well, we're up against astonishingly, incredibly sophisticated robots. I had no idea that sort of the machines that were here. But we did pretty well. You, you did know, pretty sparks well. Sparks off them, you know, we yeah. got upside down, kept going. Sorry to lose you. Sabre too. Oh. That self right was always yeah. potentially a chink in the armour, I mean, and unfortunately yeah. it kicked in earlier well, than we We were giving liked. some eruption a good fight, mm. and I was really pleased that we got flipped and we came back again mm. and we carried on, but eventually it was only a matter of time before we went over. And... Please give it up for Sabretooth and Terror Turtle. Thank you, guys.
So eruption and storm to head back to the pits nearly intact. We've got a bit of damage, but nothing that we can't repair. And we got both robots out fairly quickly, so that should be that's what we were hoping for. It is nice to get first through the first heat, yeah. though. We get through the first heat. We've got three more fights to do now, so we're a lot happier. Storm two, the most expensive robot in the competition, at over twenty-five thousand pounds, immediately driving on to eruption. Storm two, the quicker of the robot, but caught by Sakilalot onto the flame pits. They don't want to test the lithium polymer battery there. The heat getting it away. Eruption tries to flip. Storm 2 has the four flipper bars. They can flip in 0.3 seconds. So swift can be the deadly killer blow. They're in underneath Eruption now. That's 109 kilos of robot they're shoving around. They can flip Storm 2 10 feet in the air if they get a chance. Michael Oates, the young driver, just 17 years of age. He's been a Robot Wars devotee since he was two, but he needs to do something now, and he does! Eruption, flip, flop, fly! And thrilling us all by self-writing. Look at the stream at. Boing, up it comes again. <laughs> That's brilliant stuff. And on to the tyre, and that releases the pit. That was the alarm you could hear, pit, pit, pit. This is a really good contest. Oh, that's dangerous. Into Sakilalot's pincers. You really didn't want to do that. Get away from there. Sakilalot, not the most mobile, not the prettiest. Don't tell him I said that. Eruption away now from Storm 2. Trying to get in underneath again. Eruption, no, they need to work on their flipper accuracy. And they ooh, just left themselves open there to a potential flip by Storm 2, who are worried that their motors might overheat. That was a problem when they tested the robot. Oh, over it goes! That's a tremendous feat pulled off by Eruption. Explosive power of Eruption. Can they do it again? Nearly caught Storm 2 side on. Storm 2 had enough power to pull a minibus load. It was school children, and you can see the power. And they've got Eruption wedged between a rock and a hard place. Riding piggyback on Storm 2, will come for another drive now. They're counting down the audience. The judges will have hard work to separate these. That's the closest contest we've had so far. Not a lot of action out of Storm 2 late on. The judges will mark on style, damage and aggression. Good aggression from Eruption. Storm 2 flung through the air, but then getting in underneath. That's a controlled drive. Judges will mark them highly on that, but not on this. Flipped once again by Eruption. Let's talk to you guys first. Were you happy? Really happy. Start of the fight was going really well. We got underneath them all the time. Our scoop is precision milled to be on the floor in here. My aim was to try and get them towards one of the house robot corners and then okay. try and flip them. Okay. But most of the time, had them on top and just rode them into a corner and it was to a house robot when I got there. So okay. it was strategic. So from no flipping, but tactically, strategic, you yeah. had lots of flipping. Yeah. If I was judging it, I'd have said that they had it for two minutes. It was mm -hmm. close, but I'd have given it to them. But then the last minute, we came back with a good few flips, so I think it's going to be really... And lots of aggression and as lots well. lots of aggression, yeah. So it's going to be really difficult. Yeah. It's going to be, yeah, like I said, close. it's going to be really close. I have the results. The team that scored two points and the win is Storm 2. Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> it was a split decision from the judges, and that was a battle that was hard to call. Till about 20 seconds to go, Storm 2 was leading comfortably, and then last minute there was some action from Eruption's flippers, and I think that made a huge difference. But in the end, we feel the right team won. It wasn't even yeah. until Storm stopped at the end. It was immobile at the end of the fight, and we thought that might swing it for us, but clearly not. Yeah, it was a bit too close to the end, I think. If we got another flip in, I think we might have yeah. had it. Oh, well, that was a really yes. The loser simply goes out. Eruption good as new. PP3D retired. Will they be retired in another way at the end of this? Low ground clearance.
with the undercutter blade. There you can see spinning it away. Did Eruption have those side panels oh, oh, to stop the blade getting in underneath? But it's getting up to speed with mighty power. Bang! Smash! Destruction! Look at this! Whoa! And off comes one of those welded side plates, simply shorn away. Wow! Like shearing a sheep. We're moving, they're not. Oh, We're my. moving. They're just about, just about okay. With the 32 volt battery still retaining some power. Eruption have got out from the corner. They can self right, but can they steer themselves forward? At the moment, it seems to be one wheel only working on Eruption. Ho hum. Yes, we know you can move it. Well, you can you can fidget. You're fidgeting. You're not fighting. You're fidgeting. Oh, you guys are gonna smoke. See ya. Oh. Oh. I hope you're still alive and kicking out there. I'm almost losing the will to live myself. Go on, go on, dead metal. Yes, get out the door. I will allow you. Go and get. Go on, fetch. Fetch. You want some? You sure? Taking on the house robot. It'll go to the judges. An eruption of already controversially lost one decision. Cease his call. Judges will decide. Started so well. Head to head. Bash. Aggression from PP3D, and they caused damage to eruption. One of the side panels flew off a little bit later on after eruption bravely came back for a head to head smash. But the second half of the bout, goodness me, was deadly dull. Well, there's one for the purists. When the history of Robot Wars is written, this battle may not be long remembered. Uh, what happened out there? Well, we spun up beautifully. Yeah. Uh, then, over. then we continued to collide, collide, collide. Uh, you know, we imparted some damage. And it, was then... a, it was a lovely first minute. I was yeah. That. You were trying to get around and trying to flip him over. Couldn't quite get in there some of the time. No, the disc was so fast. You just got throw it. Every time that you hit it, there's so much energy that both robots just fly apart. So it, it was a fun minute or so, and then yeah, as you say, it was the two of us just trying to crawl towards one another. The judges have had to watch back over that first minute. This could be it now in terms of staying mm -hmm. in the competition. They do have a decision, and the decision is unanimous that the winner of this bout is PP3D. PP3D <laughs> get the three points. Back in the pit, both teams get the chance to explore these catastrophic motor failures. We've burned the motor out, so we need to get the motor out and place it with a spare one. But to do that, we need to get the wheel out first, which is jammed up. Take all the main gas tanks out before we can get to that. So there's not a huge amount to replace, but it's buried at the bottom of the robot. We might be able to get him. It depends. <laughs> Apollo already through, but they want to stay out of trouble here because they've sustained chain damage. And they need to fight later in the competition. Eruption playing for pride, really. I think they're unfortunate to be pointless thus far. And they're on the aggressive here, trying to get to Apollo's side on to get their flipper into action now from the rear. And I don't think that's enough power in Eruption's flipper to push Apollo up and over, oh, it was! And Apollo dancing around. The famous blue coats, dancers and prancers and a tumble in the rumble of robot wars. What can Eruption do? Oh, look at the pirouette by Eruption. Apollo. Ooh, under pressure here. Well, they're through to the final, but this is not an infallible machine. Oh, no. It's, 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 it's all gone wrong. The flipper is on, stuck go, 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 open. Go, go, go. They have a relatively oh. low supply of gas. They Nothing know that. Broken. I think they've been immobilized. They have to be wise using the launcher. I don't think there's any activity left in the launcher. And an eruption here heading for its first uh, bout of the night and into the CPZ, Apollo need to get out of the clutches. They're a dead metal, that's for sure. Really good work by Eruption and Michael Oates, we know he's a good driver. Pirouetting there on the blade, oh, lovely stuff. Really good slow motion, that. Topsy-turvy 
the life of a robotier. Eruption! What a way to go! Yeah. Where was that guy in the previous fights? It was there, he just couldn't get onto the opponent. I mean, so, it definitely did it yeah, this time. It was. it was nice to go out on a good A fight. nice little pirouette right on yeah. the nose there. That yeah, was that, that, pretty sassy. that was quite stylish. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Well, you guys went out on a high. Can we get a round of applause, please, for Eruption? Three points for you guys. Well done.